Hey guys, so <clears throat> this is problem 5 from chapter 15, and it continues from problem 4, where we design a band pass filter with a gain of 5. And um, so what we found was that if we um, want a gain of 5 and, and we want to use a 10 nanofarad uh, capacitor in our design, that the feedback resistor would have 6 0.4 k uh, kilo ohms and well 6366 to be exact and not that we could ever find a resistor that is that exact but um, our R1 then would be 1273 so in this problem they said that the input voltage is now 2 cosine omega t and we have um, for part A the question is Suppose power supplies are plus minus VCC. What is the smallest value of VCC that will still cause op amp to operate in this linear region? So we call that an op, op amp is in its linear region when it's um. So it's going to be in its linear region when it's it's less than the gain times the input voltage. So our gain is five, and our input voltage is. So the op amp for part A is operating in the ten in the linear region when its magnitude is under ten. That's part A. Part B says find the output voltage when the frequency is the cutoff frequency. Well, our cutoff frequency number was. Um, it was 2,500 hertz, and we have to multiply that by 2 pi, so that gives us 5,000 pi radians per second. That is our cutoff frequency. And how do we find the output voltage there? Well, we could use KCL, that good old KCL would still work with that, but that's a lot of hard work. So, since we're lazy and very clever, we're going to use the transfer function. So the transfer function for a low-pass um, low filter is H of S is equal to negative K, where K is the gain, times, uh, times the cutoff frequency, divide that by S plus the cutoff frequency. And... So, now we want to look at what is going to go through at the cutoff frequency. The cutoff frequency is 5,000, so we're going to do H of omega J minus 5 times 5,000 pi. Divide that by 5,000 pi J plus 5,000 pi. Put that into your calculator and you should get 0.707. Um, so you should get 0.707 angle 135. That's equal to 0 0.707. Actually, no, no, no. That's not true. This is, you should get 5 square root 2 over 2 angle 135. Now, that is not the output voltage that we just found. That is actually the transfer function. But, however, the transfer function is V out over V in. So if we want V out, we simply multiply the transfer function by V in, and that gives us V out. Well, the V in was 2, so that 2 will cancel with that, and V out is 5, 5 root 2, angle 135, and 5 root 2 is 7.07. .07. So for part B, at the cutoff frequency, we are 7.07 .07 cosine 5,000 pi T plus 135 degree volts. That's part B. 
And it's more of the same for the rest of them. You're going to do the same thing. Use the transfer function and then find the angle. And once you do that, so in this case, our omega is going to be 0.2, and that's 1,000. So here, the only thing that changes is down here, 1,000J. So it's going to be 1,000 pi J. And for part B, when you do that, you should arrive at a transfer function value of 4.9. 4.9 angle 168, and again, the transfer function is a ratio of um, of v in over v out, or v out over v in. So multiply by v in, which is two. Then our answer for part C is is 9.8 cosine of 1,000 pi t plus 168.7 degree volts. Now, so that's really low, and it let most of the voltage through, right? And that is what we expected, was that it's a low-pass filter, so at low frequencies, uh, it will let um, the voltage through. So now, part D asks, about a super high frequency, 25,000, or five times, right? So at five times the cutoff frequency, this is H of omega J, so it will be 25,000 down here, so 25,000 pi J. When you put that into your calculator, you're going to find that the transfer function is uh, has value of... 0 0.98 angle 101.3 um, and multiply by V input because again transfer function is V out over V in so solving for V out will give you that times 2 so the answer for part D is 1.96 cosine of 25,000 pi t plus 101.3 degree volts. And that is the answer for part or for number five.